I welcome you to this training and in this training I'll be taking you from zero to a professional Revit user. In the last video we talked about how to get started with Revit and we are going to continue in this video. Specifically what we will be doing in this video is how to use your mouse and some keys on the keyboard. In the last video, I told you that Revit is a little bit different from AutoCAD. When you are using Revit, you cannot do away without mouse. You will need a mouse. And I want to tell you some parts of the mouse that are very, very crucial in your work. First, your left mouse. That is where you can use to select. It is the major parts of the mouse that you use a lot. The left part of it is the major part of it that you use a lot. Then we have the right mouse um, which we right click sometime when I say right click it means you are going to be using the right side of the mouse then when you look at the middle of the right and the left you see something that has a roller that is rolling that is a mouse wheel if the mouse you are using doesn't have that one then it is not for Revit. Don't use any mouse that doesn't have a middle roller. It is not going to work well for you. So if you are looking towards getting a mouse that you'll be using, make sure it has a middle roller because we are going to be using it a lot in this training. If you are in any place, if you bring your cursor over anything and you right click it is going to show you some options there are so many options here so if you are on 3d and you want to tumble the 3d so that you want to be turning it like i'm turning it now what you are you'll be using is the roller you are going to press the roller down and you are going to hold on shift and there you'll be moving it around you see that your 3d will be turning so that you can see every part of the the model you see how it is turning alternatively you can use the view cube you can use the view cube to do it. In that case, you are going to hold the the left part, the left part of the mouse, and you'll be turning it. Now you are no longer holding the the shift. But if you want to hold the shift, then you are going to be using the middle roller. I hope you understand those two differences. If you are using the view cube. You no longer hold the shift and you are not going to be using middle roller okay so if that is taken let's go to the next part if i want to zoom i can hold on control and press the middle roller as i am dragging it out I am zooming out if I want to zoom backward I will drag backward and it will be zooming one of my hand is holding on control and the second finger is holding on the mouse roller and you'll be zooming out and zooming in you can see how it works all right okay then if you want to copy something the fastest way to copy something is simply select whatever you want to copy and hold on control 
and drag and drop as simple as that it has copied let me repeat it again i select that stuff i want to copy it could be a wall it could be a door it could be a window and one of my hand holds on control and the one that is on the mouse hold on the mouse the left part of it you know from now onward i will not be saying the left parts of the mouse whenever i say uh, click or hold your mouse i'm meaning the left part of it so make sure you get used to it if i am going to be saying right then in that case i will mention it specifically that hold on the right or right click something like that so you are going to select the stuff you want to copy and let one of your finger hold on control and you are going to press your mouse down and drag it and you release your mouse and your second finger you see that that thing has copied it could be anything if i want to select all of them now you see i can copy them without without stress i'll just highlight them then hold control and simply drag and drop as simple as that okay i hope that is gotten then if that is gotten let's go to the next one the next one is selecting when you are doing selection in Revit. Now let me uh, copy another wall and tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, now in Revit, when you you select from the right to the left, whatever your selection box touches is selected whatever the selection box touches is selected it's similar to autocad and that is the same thing autocad work but if i select from the left hand side you see it is only those elements that are enclosed in the selection box that will be selected so it is until you, you enclose it properly before that particular thing is selected so these are the two different way of doing your selection if i want to select only this one for instance this the fastest way i can do it is to simply select it from the left and enclose it and only that one will be selected and if I want to select this wall and this wall, I will simply select it from the right. And as my selection box is touching it, it is automatically selected. All right. Okay, then there are sometimes, especially as a beginner, when you are working, sometimes the model can disappear. You can't just see it again. It has happened to me several times. And uh, you, if you don't know what to do, you get frustrated. You can no longer see your model. It has disappeared to some part, so somewhere. What you simply do is simply come to your working area, right click, and you see zoom to fit. Simply click on zoom to fit and your model will come back wherever it has gone to it is going to come back all right i thought i think that is gotten mouse wheel if i want to zoom out for instance i'm going to be rolling the mouse the wheel away from me as i'm rolling away from me you see the the model is zooming out then if i start rolling it towards myself it will be 
zooming in is similar to the way AutoCAD work if you have used AutoCAD before. You can see as I'm rolling it now, it's zooming it in. If I want to zoom out, I roll it backward. Now, assuming the model is here, I can bring it here. If I want to see more of this side, then I'm going to bring my cursor there first before I start zooming out. If there is another part I want to see very well, I bring my cursor there, I start zooming out. And you can be zooming and be moving at the same time. You can be moving your mouse and still be zooming. Then there is another important part again. If I want to move this whole model, maybe towards the right, I can simply press the mouse wheel and I'm going to be moving it to the right or move it to the left, move it up and down. There is a trick that I used to do my selection as fast as possible. For instance, if I have, I have windows, I have so many things, the complete models that I have already modeled, maybe I have doors, I have doors, I have other things, so many things. It's a complete design. And I want to select only the window. I will simply select everything and go to filter and check none then i will now select only window and click ok now you will now see that it is only the windows that i selected so whatever i want to do to them now i can now do to them is either i want to delete it or i want to edit the type i can now edit the type so that is how I do my selection as fast as possible. You know, as we go along, you see the importance of this filter. That filter is very, very, very important. It helps your selection uh, as fast as possible. If I want to select only the door and window. I will simply unselect the walls and hit apply. And here you go. You see that. All the doors and windows are selected. If I want to delete them, I will simply delete them and you are done. So that is how you do your selection. And I hope that is taken.